Hi, my name is Miley Hewitt and I will be performing a routine chest x-ray. In this exam, we will be doing a PA chest and a lateral chest projection. I've already detented my tube to the wall bucket and at 72 inches. I've placed my left marker on the bucket so I don't forget to use my marker during this exam. And I also pulled out the shield so I don't forget. Now I'm gonna wait for our patient to arrive. Okay? So Mrs. Hamilton, take a nice deep breath in, blow it out, take another deep breath in, and hold it, x-ray, go ahead and breathe and relax. So for that first uh, PA, use uh, 115 at about 3 mass. Alright, so I'm going to have you face me, Mrs. Hamilton. I'm going to have you reach up to the top bar if you can, or as high as you can. Perfect. Just rest your hands right there. That would be great. I'm going to keep this shield right here, so be careful. All right. So we're going to take a nice little step forward. Put your body right up against the board there. And then don't rotate. Make sure there's no rotation. Maybe take another little step forward. There you go. Perfect. All right. So for this x-ray, I think you need to move a little bit more forward. Perfect. <laughs> so for this x-ray, we're going to be, um, the central ray is going to be at the mid-coronal plane and still at the level of T7. Uh, we're going to use a technique about 115, and we're going to double our mass, so it'd be uh, at 6 mass. That's right. Mrs. Hampton, stay right there. Breathing instructions again. You're going to take a nice deep breath in, blow it out, take a deep breath in and hold it, X-ray. So now we are going to check our images to make sure they are of acceptable quality. First, we'll start with the PA projection of the chest. The left marker was placed correctly to indicate the patient's left side of the body and is also out of the anatomy, not to disturb any of the anatomy. The anatomy that we are looking for on a chest x-ray is to make sure that we can see the lungs, the heart, the diaphragm, the aortic notch, and the air-filled trachea. So now we need to make sure that we've reached all the criteria. First, we need to make sure that we see the entire lung field from the apices to the costophrenic angles. We must see 10 posterior ribs above the diaphragm, which would indicate good inspiration. 
Next, we want to see the scapula out of the lung field to make sure that the patient had completely rolled their shoulders forward. We also want to see an equal distance of the sternoclavicular joints from the vertebral body. We also want to make sure that we can see the spine through the heart shadow. So for the left lateral projection, we want to make sure that there's a left marker to indicate that the patient's left side was against the bucky. We want to be able to see the heart for anatomy, the diaphragm, the lungs, and the air-filled trachea, as well as the aortic notch. Criteria for a left lateral projection is that the arms and the soft tissue is out of the lungs, which is why we have the patient raise her hands above her head. We also want to make sure that we can see the entire lung field from the top of the apices down to the claustrophrenic angles. We want to make sure that there is superimposition of the posterior ribs to indicate that the patient was not rotated. We also want to see the hilum in the approximate center of the image, as well as a sharp outline of the heart and the diaphragm. Sit back in the chair. <laughs>